Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and this is going to be another tutorial type video and it is one of the biggest questions that I'm ever asked is Laura how do I download custom content and mods into my game and it is quite a complicated process and there are a few great videos out there one in particular is from Nicole Key who tells you how to do it basically but it is questions I'm still asked that even though that video is out there and a lot of people have asked if I would specifically do one so here it is and I hope that it helps now for reference I am using Windows 7 so that is the operating system that I am using so first step and this is the very 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 first step is you need an unzipping file now this is for PC if this video goes well and you guys would like it I can also show you how to do it on a Mac as well because I used to do it on a Mac before I switched to PC so yeah I can do both so the very very first step is to get yourself a file to unzip it's really really important that you have something that can unzip content so WinRAR is one of them 7-zip is what I personally use I quite like it Um, it came already built in you know when my uncle built my PC that's what he chose he's very high up in computers he enjoys it it's free so yeah that's what I use so that's first step that's stage one Stage one is get yourself that. Most computers will come with it. If yours doesn't, then you get it. Then I want you to go to this page here. Now, I will put links below for the pages so you don't need to copy all this. I will put a link to this page. And this is basically you're setting up the foundation of your mods, okay? So you're setting up the folder that all your mods will then go into. Your mods, your custom content, you're setting that up, okay? There's two different files that you'll deal with in particular. First of all, you'll deal with the Sims 3 files which download through your launcher. So just like if you're buying something from the store, you would download it and it would go into your game through your Sims launcher. This mods folder is for mods, but it is also for package files, which the majority the majority of custom content creators do package files because they're easier I think. I think they're easier. I also prefer to use them because you can easily take them out. You don't have to go into the launcher and uninstall and do all that jazz. You literally take them out, put them in the recycle bin and they're gone. So this is our foundation here. So you can read all this if you like but I'm going to show you anyway. So what you want to do is you want to click on this which is download and it's completely safe, okay, completely safe. And it'll say, you've chosen to open framework setup.zip. Now you can open with what I always do, and this is what you should always do whenever you're downloading custom content, is save file first. Because what that'll then allow you to do is to scan for viruses. So once you've done the save file, you click okay. And if it's Windows 7 and you're using Firefox, which I am. If you don't use Firefox as a browser, I would highly recommend it. It's fabulous. So up here is showing you that it's downloaded. So you can click into it. Now what I like to do is bring up my downloads folder. And the easy way to do that is to right click and then open containing folder. Okay. And this will bring up your downloads folder here. Now as you can see this file has a zip on it which is an indication that it needs to be unzipped. First step before unzipping anything in your PC is to scan it. Now I use Microsoft Security Essentials okay so I'm getting to that by right clicking it and then you would scan it using your security system. So I said that no threats were detected on the PC. Brilliant. For every single piece of custom content that you download please use a virus scanner, even if it's things like Anubis or Mod The Sims or anything like that, just check for viruses because although these websites are trusted and I trust these content creators, things can happen once things hit web, you know, so things can happen. Scan it. Once you've done it, you're going to use your extraction file. Now, I'm using 7-zip, so I'm right-clicking and going to my 7-zip. Now, you can extract to your desktop or you can extract elsewhere, but I just like to extract it so it stays in here for me to, to deal with it. So I always click extract here. 
and there you go. And you can forget about that, but you have your mods folder. So if I click in here, you'll see in this folder, you've got overrides, don't touch it. You have got packages, which is what we want, and you've got resource.cfg. Do not touch that and do not touch that. It's completely needless, okay? What you're interested in is the packages file. And if you go into packages, you'll see that it has two mods already, one called no build sparkles and no intro, okay, package. Now, the no build sparkles is, you know, when you're running a wall or you're building and behind it, you'll have glitter and things like that coming out of the mouse. It takes that away. I personally quite like it, so I don't have that. I removed that. But basically what that does is that just shows you that it's working. This no intro dot package, this is if, you know, it skips, it basically skips all the crap and takes you straight to the, the kind of loading screen, if you like. It is really good. I really like it. So now that you have that folder, you then need to put it into your game. Now, let's have a look here. So you would go to your start menu in Windows 7. Go to documents. So it's not your your game within the, you know, the game files. It's documents. Electronic Arts. And The Sims 3. And it'll bring up all these folders. This looks so complicated, doesn't it? Right, so... <laughs> Don't worry about it. It isn't really that complicated. And here is my mods folder here. So I can take that out if I want, but this is my mods folder. So what you would do, all you would do, if I didn't have that there, I would drag it and just drop it in there. Okay? Just drag and drop. And once you're dragged and dropped, you'll get your folder. And that is your base. Your base is in there. That's the most important part. And that's where you put everything that you need goes into this folder here. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same as what that did. In my packages, however, I do have <laughs> custom content. Now, these custom contents are all, I try and be organised, guys. It doesn't quite work that way. Sometimes if I'm trying out a whole bunch of custom content, like this was in the 3rd thir the of January, that was a whole bunch of hairs. Sometimes I'll put them in there just to see if they're going to make any problems with my game. Because what I do is I'll, I'll try out on certain days a whole bunch of stuff. Any problems, take them out. And it generally works out all right. So, but ignore all that just now. That doesn't matter. The main point is you've got your basic. You've got your mods. You're good to go. So now we're going to work on how do I get them in my game. Okay, so I hope you're with me so far. I really do. Alright, so we've got the folder, we've got it into our Sims thing, everything's hunky-dory, we're all, we're all good to go, okay? We know how to locate the folder and things like that, or we should do. Just for another point of reference, you will start, documents, electronic arts, the Sims 3, and mods, okay? Packages. Right? So that's how we do that. So up here, I have highlighted a few sites that I use. Now, a couple of you asked correct questions about BU Creations. So I'm going to show you how you download from them. Because quite a few of you have asked. Anubis Under the Sun is one of my favourite custom content sites. And I can see that they've brought out a new dress that I do not have yet. So that's quite exciting. And quite good because then I can show you me downloading it. Okay, so you would go to the site now. Anubis, you don't have to register. And Anubis has clothes here. It's just fabulous. And I bought that cat toy, which is why it's shown up here. Isn't it funny? Big Brother is definitely watching us. Anyway, so as you can see, read more and download. So you click that. And then it will tell you a bit more about the dress, blah, 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 blah. It tells you that it's for, 
So here it says here, so dress is under everyday formal and career categories for female teens, young adults and adults only. Now it tells you here both package, which is what we're talking about just now, and Sims 3 pack. So the Sims 3 pack is through your launcher. So Anubis will give you the option, do you want the package one or do you want the Sims 3 pack? The Sims 3 pack, if you are only intending to do that, you don't need to download a mods folder. That'll just use your launcher. However, however, package files are easier, guys. If you've got the choice, do a package file because things can get corrupted through the launcher. Use a package file if you can, if you can. Very, very rare will I use anything in the package state. So here we have your options down here. So you can see that she gives you the option. Well, actually, I thought it was a he, but it's a, a, a she, sorry. But Anubis is actually a he. Um, with very good fashion sense. So he gives you the option to download it for young adults and, and adults or for teens. So I'm going to download it for both. So you can download the dot .package file which we'll put into the mods folder or you can download it for your launcher which would be this one but we're going to do it with the mods folder. So you just click on it, left click on it and it should connect you soon. It seems that the website is running a bit slow. I am uploading a video just now, so that possibly could be why. And this will take you to Mediafire. Now, Mediafire is a place where it, that you download things from, okay? And it's where the custom content creators put their custom content on for you to then access at another time. So, you would download. Just click the download button. And it said your download is starting and then this will pop up and this will ask you what to do. So as I said before, when pop-ups like this happen, we always save the file. So click save file. And as you can see, it starts downloading up to here. If you use Internet Explorer, I don't know what that will be like. But if you use Internet Explorer, go and download Firefox because it's so much better and it's free. So go and get it. Then we'll be on the same page. So again, we're going to open that up. So I'm left clicking, highlighting it, right clicking, open containing folder. So as you can see, this doesn't look as if it's zipped, but it is. It's the same thing. It's still a RAR file. It needs unzipped. So I'm going to just take them out of there just now. Just ignore that. So this is what we're working with here. So again, right click and scan. No threats to the computer. Excellent. Go down to right click again, use my 7-zip, extract here and it will bring me this file here and you can see that sunset caramel dress by Anubis360 dot package and it gives you a cute little thumbnail for it as well. You don't need the thumbnail, you can get rid of the thumbnail. So I'm going to go into my mods folder, so I'm going to go documents, electronic arts, sims 3, and mods. Go into my package. Now I'm downloading, I'm planning on doing a couple of new downloads tonight. So I'm going to create a new folder. So you just right click in there, new folder, trial. I will sort all this out, I really will. Trial and today's the 14th, so 1403. And this lets me know that I things I installed today. So if I'm having problems, I can do it. So basically all you do, guys, is just drag it and drop it. And that is it. That is us now got that dress. When we start up the game, I now have that dress in my game. How easy is that? I know it probably doesn't seem easy because it's lots and lots of steps. But let's go and do another one. So let's go and do one more from Anubis. I just, I want to do this a couple of times. I hope it doesn't bore you, but I want to do it a couple of times so you can get the idea. In fact, we'll go on and do BEO Creations now. So BEO Creations is fabulous. And a lot of you are confused about how you download them. You have to have an account with them. Okay, so I am registered with them at, on an account. If you're not, you would just go and register, get a username, a password, and make sure you're completely logged in to their site. And then you're free for all your lovely stuff. And look at that dress. Is that not 
blooming beautiful and I don't have that but I am about to have that. <laughs> um, so once you are registered with them you will find beside it it has a download link. So once again we're going to click it. Now this site BO takes you to Adfly. Be careful with Adfly okay because it shows as you would think that you would hit all this and choose that but you don't. This is just an ad so be careful, be, be really careful. So all you do is you look at that ad for a second and eventually it'll come up saying skip ad and that's what you want to do. So otherwise you'll be downloading a whole bunch of who knows what with that. It's not, that sounds bad, it's not, um, what do you call it, viruses or anything but it's just stuff on your computer that you don't want. Um, again, save file. Now it's going to take a minute to download because it's a bit of a bigger file. But, you know, and then we'll just left click again to bring it up, highlight it, right click, open folder, and here it's here. I'm just going to take this into the recycle bin because we don't need that. So again, we right click, we scan, no threats were found. We right click, we 7-zip, we extract here. And that gives you the option here of the BU address. Now anything that looks like that, that's your Sims 3 pack file. So if I double click that, that'll bring my launcher up and it'll do it through the launcher. But I want to use the package file which is here. Okay, so we're just going to bring up my documents, electronic arts, Sims 3, mods. Now, the only reason that I keep shutting it down and going back into it is just so it makes it you know, clearer to you guys what we need to do. So it's a downloads folder. So I'll bring up the file, the folder that I'm trying today. So it's the trial and then drag and drop that. There we go, two new dresses. And then we'll just delete that. And BEO creations, you can, obviously we're now off the page so you just back click it and you're back to it again. So BEO creations really does have some gorgeous stuff, absolutely gorgeous stuff. Um, you know, it's got like that there. It's got some of the nicest wedding dresses that you ever will see. Um, oh, and that's quite cute. So it's got her as a sim. What else do we have? That is a cute dress. Let's 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 get that, guys. Look at that. Is that not pretty? That is pretty. Available only to users. What does that mean? Used. What, what does that mean? Available only to users. What kind of users? Ah, oh, <laughs> it logged me out. Oh well, right, so log in. That's annoying. Okay, yeah, there we go. I was really confused there. I had absolutely no idea what the problem was. So download. I'll take us to a stupid ad fly thing. Again, as you can see, really annoying. Please wait, blah, 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 skip ad. And the more you do this, guys, the faster you will get. You don't think you will, but you definitely will get faster. Um, when I first did it, it was like a total minefield. And I was like, oh my goodness, how do I actually do this? You know, how do we do this? So we okay on that, take 18 seconds, because it is quite daunting because you're going into different computing files, you know, you're doing a whole bunch of different stuff and it is, you do kind of make, you know, want to make sure that am I doing the right thing to my PC, but as long as you use that virus scanner, you really can't go wrong and use reputable sites. So again, left click, highlight, right click, open folder. We will right click it, scan, and then we will extract it. So some ones are bigger than others. So if you've got um, a certain packages with, you know, a lot of detail on it, or if it's for children, teens, elders, you know, there'll be a lot more to the package. Well, that's 32.6 megabits, whereas this one was, I don't know, less. <laughs> so again, you just drag and drop some still in that, that downloads folder. So we have probably within the last five minutes downloaded three different dresses. So there you go. So I, I think 
that should make it pretty clear to you. Now for other custom content, Kelly Sims, shout out to my girlie, has an amazing Tumblr, kelly-cc.tumblr.com. If you don't follow her on there, you are missing out. Look at what this girl does for us. Look, she has got page upon page upon page of custom content that she has found through Tumblr. The girl is a genius and she finds everything. Like, she takes everything that's out there and gives you all the good stuff. She weeds out all the crap and gives you all the good stuff. It's awesome. So, yeah, so pretty much, you know, she's a great place to go to to get a whole bunch of stuff. I've talked about her before, but I love it. Now, mods. Let's let's go on to that. So, the main... Um, look at my most visited sites, like The Sims 3... Sims 3 Symbiote. <laughs> oh, they're all in there. Right, so a lot of you have asked where do I get my mods. So the mods that I use are by Enras. And I will put a link to the website below. And this is it. So it's Enras Industries. Okay guys, so this is what the NRAS homepage looks like and the all the NRAS mods are down the side. So there's all the ones that they do, they do loads. I mean they really do loads and loads and loads and loads of mods. And the main one that I use is Massa Controller. So you click into that one and down here it will tell you the different versions to it, okay? Now the version number is really important because you, patch level even, sorry, patch level. So you know whenever Sims bring out a new patch on the store and you bring up your launcher and it downloads the new patch, these mods here, I'm totally talking with my hand right now if you can imagine, <laughs> these mods here run in conjunction with those patches. So if you're running, for example, I am running version 1.63 of The Sims. I haven't updated the recent patch, mainly because, long story short, Enras themselves, the main guy, Twilan, he stopped updating it. And I know that they have updated it themselves, but I was a bit dubious to update my game because I didn't want to lose my mods. But all is not lost because these guys are doing it. So anyway, Master Controller is the base one, the best one that I use, okay? As I say, what they do is a whole different ball game and it may be a video that I can do for you, but this is what's important. So you always want to look at the top version because the top version is always the most current, okay? So what you want to do is click on base mod. So any of these mods all of them will say base mod is your first one and then all the other modules are like extensions of that okay it's just extensions of that so you would click on base mod and it will bring you up what it does so this mod adds a menu called nras master controller to the following items in town so it gives you a bit about it you can read the frequently asked questions what the interactions are what they do you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. It'll, you know, give you more sliders and the facial panel, all that sort of good stuff. And it'll have files, etc, etc, etc. And what you want to do is, this is the file that matters here. Okay, and this is the master controller download. So you can look at the details, but I just would just click download on it. And again, it brings up one of our handy dandy things here. And we click OK. Whenever you're ready. Right. And again, click on left click and open containing folder. And although I know NRAS, I still will always scan. Always scan. All the time. And then extract here. Just as you've done with all the other CCs. And as you can see, it's got a dot package file. So where do we put dot package files? We put them in our mods folder. So that once more <laughs> documents, electronic arts, the sims 3, mods, packages. Now I have a full folder dedicated to NRAS and as you can see I already have master controller 
So all I've done is you would drag it and drop it in. But I'm not going to do that because I've already got it in there. And it would confuse it. And it may blow up on my face. No, it won't actually, but still. Um, so as you can see, I've got the career package, the homemaker career, master controller, master controller cheats, Overwatch, which I could not live without. I've got the portrait panel, the story progression, and the woohooer package file. So these are all my NRAS mods and all of them are downloaded exactly what we just did there. So you have to download Master Controller, that's a must. Once you've downloaded Master Controller you then have the additional options that we saw at the beginning. Where is it? Where is it? Master Controller. I'm in a singing sort of mood guys so I sing a lot of the time in my own life. I do little silly jingles and stuff. It's a bit mad. Um, okay, so cheats is another one I've got. I've not got expanded tattoo integration or progression. It doesn't really interest me. But to get any of these, you have to have that installed. So always download the base mod of any mod and then you can do the expansions. Overwatch is amazing. Basically, that will pick out all the bad stuff that's happening in your game and sort it out. And again, you can see base mod. So you're basically looking for your patch level. So Overwatch hasn't been updated to 1.67. Therefore, until that is done... Oh, no, it has. It's up here. What oh, has. Okay, just ignore me. Just ignore. Ignore me. Being stupid. And story progression is another one that I use... And story progression has a whole bunch of additional extras. So you've got the base mod here, um, and then you've got the extras of things that you can do. You can add more personality modules, so you can get a brat, a bully, a thug, a harpy, <laughs> um, vampires and slayers, so you can get more personalities and things like that. You can do different relationships, gatherings, it adds a lot more to your game. But again, that is downloaded the exact same way. You click on your base mod and then you would click your download button again and then you would just follow the same process. So that's how you get mods into it. My Sims 3 blog, just in case you're wondering, is another site that's awesome for custom content. I really want this little house by Jenba. Whoever that person is, they obviously make awesome lots. And uh, yeah, this is a good one to go on to because you can choose whatever you want. So say I wanted a gun. <laughs> Although why I would want a gun for my Sims, I don't know. But if I did want a gun, then, you know, there you go. Les Miserables pose pack and accessories. Well, that is freaking awesome. I love it. See? You find things? That's how... Oh my god, how awesome is that? That is pretty awesome. That is pretty amazing. Not even going to lie. So even though I, I was kind of kidding about wanting guns, it's uh, <laughs> quite interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. And there's a new Twinbrook beta. Loads of stuff. Loads and loads. Oh, an erotic couple set. Well, let's not go into that. Um, so, yeah. So, I think that's it. I think. And hopefully it helped you. Hopefully. Uh, I hope it did. I hope it made this look a bit easier on how you would do it. Well, I, sh well, I download something from here just so you can see. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Right. So let's go for let's go for child let's go for some child female clothing, why not? So you just click on whatever you need. Just go take a drink. Oh that is awesome. That is awesome. Love it. Okay. Um, I don't like that one. It's really accurate, but I don't like it. I love this one. Okay, so what will we download? Just anything, really. Eh? Well, we just we just download anything. I don't really want that though. So it's awesome, but I don't really. Hello Kitty. I hate Hello Kitty. <gasps> that would have been perfect for my Cinderella challenge. Okay. 
So anywho, so this is basically, this. all this stuff is not on this site. This site links to sites. So this is why I'm saying with Sims 3 Blogspot, be careful because it takes from basically all the, you know, all the custom content out there. So sometimes things can be a little bit, you know, not as good as other things, you know. Um... Right, so say for example, we wanted some denim shorts by Weekly Sims, okay? We'll click into that and it'll probably take us to their site. I'm not even going to download those shorts because they just, I don't know. Um, So here it's here. Um, Top with fashionable and see it brings up Adfly again. So do not click. See this? See, I hate Adfly because look at that. If you didn't download things, right, and this was your first time downloading, and you saw your download is ready, click here to start downloading. You could have all sorts of stuff in your computer. It is ridiculous. Adfly is shocking that it does that. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you could have all sorts of crap downloaded. So, I don't like it. I don't agree with it. I wouldn't use Adfly. Um... Okay, so there we go. So you can download just clicking on the download link. Got all this crap. Um, download link. So that's how you would do it. It's just the same sort of thing. So I hope that you enjoyed this, guys. My runaway teen has got 62 minutes to go. Oh my god, so long. 62 minutes to go, but hopefully once I've stopped doing this, it might be quicker. And I do hope that this helped you guys. I really do hope so. If you have any questions, drop them below. I can't help with any of the WinZip or 7-Zip or anything like that. You're just going to have to search for help with that because I don't really have anything I can do about that. I just know what my unzipping file is. Look at that wedding dress. Oh my lord. I need to have that. Valentine's Day wedding dress. That is beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go and custom content shop now, guys, but uh, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps, and as always, I'm here to help you guys whenever you need me. Oh, I want that mask. That's free. Cute. See, this is a problem. See, once you start, guys, that is you. Once you start, you are just going to be wanting to do this all the time. All the time. And that's the veil that I used for Cinderella. Or was that? No, that was it. That was the veil. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, guys, have a fantastic day and I shall talk to you in my next video. Bye.